for Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte, this is beginning to feel less like a football season and more an exercise in problem management. Manchester United, it is worth pointing out, are second in the Premier League. Chelsea, after this thoroughly deserved win, are up to fourth and just a point behind. But the feeling at both of these clubs is not one of great optimism. Issues swirl around both like smoke from a bonfire, whatever the results on the field. United have problems surrounding their style, especially away from Old Trafford. Oh, and Marinho's 15 month watch, they have scored a single goal away against one of the traditional top six clubs. After two defeats in three Premier League games, United are now eight points behind Manchester City, and maybe we are finally beginning to see evidence of the limitations that seemed apparent at the end of the summer transfer window. Better, quite good, in fact, but maybe not quite good enough yet. Otto and Sunday, Marinho was left to suggest that things will improve once injured players return. This from a manager who claims never to use injuries as an excuse. As for Chelsea, Conte continues to swim against a tide that seems destined, at some stage, to wash him out of the door at Stamford Bridge. This was an emotional, tense victory for the Italian, one earned by a towering header from Alvaro Morata and celebrated with such intensity at full time that Conte decided he didn't have time to shake hands with Mourinho. That was a mistake. Afterwards, though, talk turned almost immediately from victory to his omission of the Brazilian David Lewis. With Conte dissatisfied with Lewis's training performances, the Chelsea manager decided to proceed without him for this game and has suggested this stance will not change any time soon. Victory here enabled him to get away with that. Today it looks brave, an example of a manager exercising his authority. But what happens when Conte leaves one of his big names out and his team loses? That is when the problems will begin. At Chelsea, managers who take on players, especially those favoured by the owner Roman Abramovich, tend to run into difficulties very soon. Marinho knows this better than anyone. So this was the context within which this game was played. If matches that do not involve rampant City already feel as though they will only influence the order of the runners-up prizes, this one was always unlikely to provide conclusive truth of the direction in which Chelsea or United are travelling. From United we certainly didn't really see anything that surprised us. Mourinho's team were competitive and drilled and were never going to be easy to beat. But they were lacking in potency when they had the ball. Center forward Romelu Lukaku has now not scored since the end of September, for example, and United continued to look utterly incapable of dictating play against good sides. Only after Chelsea scored 10 minutes into the second half did United really come alive, Marinho throwing on the big Belgian Marain Fellaini to try to blow the house down. Prior to that, Marinho's team had been in the game but never in charge of it. Chelsea were better from the get-go and the way they responded to defeat in Rome in the Champions League was very impressive. The home team's two best players were Morata and Eden Hazard. No surprise there. Morata's play with back to goal was terrific and he was prepared to run the channels too. It was hard not to compare that to Lukaku's rather more laboured efforts at the other end. United survived a Phil Jones volley into his own net early on, Morata was a judge to have fouled him and escaped again when the unconvincing team out of Akayoko spooned a good chance wide from 12 yards. United goalkeeper David Deji then beat out a waspish hazard shot with Cesc Fabregas heading the rebound into the side netting. At this stage all that United had to show for their occasional journeys to the other end of the field was a header over from Marcus Rashford and a shot from 18 yards by Lukaku that fib out Courtois saved load of his right. Chelsea never wore the look of certain winners but a blue victory always seemed the most likely outcome. Hazard may have done better than shoot at the goalkeeper early in the second half, but when Cesar Azpilicueta dropped a cross on Morata's head soon after the way he directed the ball back across to G and into the top corner was sublime. It was a goal fit to win a big match, and eventually it did so. United did press hard laterally with Fellaini working Caritois and then appealing for a penalty as he grappled with Gary Cahill. 
Conte certainly should have gone to Mourinho to shake hands afterwards, no matter the previous bad blood between them. But as the dust settled later, that was not even the main post-match issue. That, in itself, spoke volumes. Inevitably this did bring United a bit of territory as the game entered the final third. Chelsea also seemed comfortable sitting back and trying to kill the game on the break. And Ahun Herrera volleyed a half chance wide from a corner, and then Chris Smalling was penalised for jumping all over Courtois in another set piece. There was something of a haphazard threat about United as they tried to get back on terms, but still the more controlled attacking football came from Chelsea, albeit on the counter. Bakayoko was lacking in composure and cleverness when a mistake by Fellaini allowed him to run clear. It would have made sense to turn on to his left to open up the goal as red shirts retreated he seemed to want to go right, and when he did he was only able to shoot wide of the near post. Hazard then had a low shot saved by Devji after standing up smalling in the penalty area. This had been a good afternoon for the Belgian, but he had not quite been at his sharpest in front of goal. He was eventually replaced with four minutes of normal time remaining, the Brazilian William sent to help shore up the game. That came immediately after a half volley from the edge of the area by Rashford had passed the wrong side of the post by about a foot. At such a late stage of the game, Chelsea did begin to find themselves under pressure at last. United did not try to hide the gamblin as they knocked it long to Fellaini and hoped for the best. It almost worked too, as the Belgian controlled a cross on his chest in the 90th minute and delivered a falling volley that Courtois dropped to save. As the ball was worked wide and crossed into the box again, Fellaini fell under a challenge from Gary Cahill. Penalty probably not. Still United would not lie down and die and after Murata spurned a 93rd minute breakaway chance Marinho's team earned one final chance. But Rashford couldn't keep his free kick down and United's rather belated attempt at a comeback was over.